We're back. We're excited because guess what? The Voice is back as well. This season, the show is making history, and here's why. It's got its first ever coaching duo. Three-time Grammy winners Dan Smyers and Shay Mooney are joining returning coaches John Legend, Reba McIntyre, and Chance the Rapper. And they're competing to discover the next singing sensation. Let's bring it live to Studio 1A. Dan and Shay, hit that button. Oh, wow. How about Wait, it? first of all, I cannot believe they made this humongous chair for you guys. That's amazing. Can you believe this? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> it's wild. It's, it's like bigger in person than you would think. It's, so, uh, it takes up a lot of space. Okay, you guys are two different people. You may work together, but you have different opinions on who would be maybe someone who you'd want to pick. You only have a matter of seconds before you have to decide whether you're going to hit your button. Yes. So what is happening between you two? You're going to have to tune in 8, 7 Central right. on NBC. <laughs> I don't know. If that, is that the time it airs? Perfect. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah it's great. It. No, it's uh, I, honestly, I think it puts us at a little bit of a disadvantage. I got to put that out there into the atmosphere yeah. in yeah. case John turns around faster and uses yeah. it against us. Because we're sitting there like kind of like trying to give each other like, are you digging yeah. this? Are you talking or are you just whispering or just winking? Well, here's the yeah. thing. We, we tried to figure that out because we didn't remember that we had mics on us at all time. We're like, <laughs> I don't know, Dan. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, we're in there like, I don't know about this one. They're not. And then you meet the family after. What do you mean you don't know about their voice? That's my son. No, it's it's great. But we do have to have like some hand signals because we're not used to doing the TV thing. This is our first time. There's cameras everywhere. Yeah. You're not thinking about it. And I'm looking at Shay like. Well, can I tell you, you sure something? You're up. I mean, look who you're competing with. Reba McIntyre, y'all. She's country royalty. I mean, so don't you just music. feel like saying, okay, Reba, you know, we get it. I mean, we're pulling out all the stops. I mean, you I'm, are? Really, I'm trying to, you know, dig up just something on Reba to, to pull out. But <laughs> there's people nothing. will get up there. There's nothing on her. There's She's nothing on Reba. Clean. People will get up there and they're like, man, since I was like five years old, I've been watching your TV show or been a fan of your music. And we're like, how are we supposed to compete with that? Yeah. And so we don't. We just try to, we, we use our blocks in uh, <laughs> very special like? ways. I mean, you guys have been on stage, obviously. You perform for thousands and thousands of people. But TV is kind of a different animal. So, Dan. We need what, lessons from you. What's You're it? the best. The best ever good. Come truth. on. But what has it been like? Like, you've got an audience. You've got Carson telling you what to do. You've got to stop down. You've got to retake. Like, there's a lot happening. Yeah, it's so fun. Honestly, yeah. that the Voice family is incredible. Everybody there, there's a reason why that show has been on for 25 yeah. seasons. They do such an amazing job. It's awesome hanging with Carson. He's such a good dude, as you guys know, hanging here today. Does he drink in the back? Is that what he's He's doing? partying. He's absolutely <laughs> raging. We signed an NDA. We can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I just talked <laughs> yeah, about yeah, you <laughs> No, no, he's pro, man. He's pro. So we got to fill Blake's shoes. That's what we said. This used to be Blake's chair, and they just added a divider yeah. in the center. You know, Blake, big guy. Have you yeah. heard anything from Blake? Does he give any advice, or is he off? Oh, he's, he's given us. Pasture. It's they don't get cell phone service in Oklahoma. <laughs> so, you know. He's given us the best advice. Uh, he almost called me back this one time, which was super cool. <laughs> Uh, no, we, we love Blake is the greatest. I, you know, we learned so much from him. And honestly, that was kind of our first introduction to The Voice, yeah. was getting to you know, be mentors on the show when he was on there. And, yeah, I don't know if we'd learned anything, but we learned about, you know, what not to do and things yeah. like that. So. Dan, why did you cut your hair short? Like, what was that decision? What's your problem? I don't Dan? know. No, I don't you know. That, What's you your deal? That, you have, we got to get a poll. Like, hit up the social. What Should I grow it back? I'm kind of like back in between right You're now. You're like in between. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I thought it would save me a lot of time having the short hair, but I feel like it kind of just takes the same <laughs> amount of time, you know? Well, you guys are getting ready to go on tour because you've shot part of The Voice. You're going to be back for the live rounds. You're yep. going to be on tour. Um, tell me about that. Like, it's it's you're venturing back out again next week. I'm so excited, man. I've, I've never been more excited for a tour. The Heartbreak on the Map tour, it starts on the 29th of February in Greenville. And, uh, man, we just, we've been in rehearsals for, like, the last two weeks. So this is, the, this is the first time we've been away from home and going to be able to sleep, I think, maybe tonight, which would yeah. be cool. <laughs> but, uh, no, we're so excited, man. We're in a, a really amazing place right now, better place than Dan and I have ever been uh, in our relationship. And it's just it's an exciting thing to go out. And we really have that perspective shift of we don't have to go do this. We get to go do this. And it's I, just a really exciting place. I think what's be. cool about you guys is a lot of p duos and pairs, as they go on, you kind of feel them going their own ways. <laughs> I really do feel like something happened between you two that has caused what was already an amazing partnership to get closer. What, what did happen? I feel like a duo is the toughest configuration of, yeah. of a group. You know, if you're in a trio, you've always got a tiebreaker. If you're a solo artist, you're yeah. out there by yourself. Yeah. And then anything more than that is just chaos. A duo is like a marriage. You have to work at it. You have to communicate. You have to be open with each other. And you have to do that in real time. 
And I feel like we, we had this journey for 10 years. We accomplished so many amazing things, even beyond our wildest dreams. You know, if you would have told us when we were little kids, we'd have a song on the radio or we'd get to be on the Today Show. Or, or three Grammy. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. On. We would have just said, you're crazy. And we got to do those things, but you're running and gunning so fast. I feel like if you don't take time to pause, check in with each other. And that's kind of what happened. We were going a million miles an hour, throw in COVID, which was a crazy, crazy whirlwind. whirlwind. And it kind of just shook things up. But we had this moment where we were like, okay, cool. We're sort of at a crossroads here. We got to figure out what we're going to do. What are the next 10 years going to look like? Are we going to, you know, call it a day right off into the sunset? Or are we going to like really unite Get and be there. stronger and better than ever? And we had a meeting at my house and just decided changed everything. You know, someone once told me like, when you're a couple, you have to reintroduce yourself to your partner every seven years or so and explain like, I don't like to eat at Chili's anymore. Yeah, I used to that's like true. that, but I'm different now. I feel like that's what you guys have done. You, you keep reintroducing yourselves. Your music's amazing. Can't wait till you come on tour. I know you're going to be at Jones Beach, so I look forward to that. Um, you all want to hit that button again? You got to hit the button. For I you got to hit come it. On. You get to come do on. it this I time. I get to hit it. Come on, Gerard. You ready? <gasps> Boom. Boom, baby. Let's go. Okay. And we're oh, almost oh, done. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I think we have to do full disclosure. Come here, Gerard. Yeah, get up here. Gerard, Gerard, is, uh, Gerard is actually the one hitting the button. Give it up. There's a, because, the, well, it can't be. You know what I mean? Because we this is the real deal mm -hmm. when it's on right. the show. But for us, Gerard. Gerard, hit it one more time. All right. Gerard, Woo! my baby. Thank you, baby. Look at All that. right. <laughs> All right, these guys are going to be back in our third hour. Season 25 of The Voice premieres Monday night, 8, 7 Central, right here on NBC. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.